two wipes. No, okay. don't, don't take my own hand. We are what? doing a mukbang. Oh, you need more energy? Yeah. I didn't put much on yours. You didn't. Put on I put your energy. You know, your first movie was about. Assalamu alaikum, everybody. Welcome back to Simply Hausa. I hope everybody is enjoying their day and thank you for stumbling upon this video or you know if you clicked it because you're part of our notification gang thank you so much if you are new to my channel you know go ahead and subscribe and like our uh, previous videos you know we're really fun girls I'm Jamila this is Amina <laughs> my sister and today we're doing uh, a mukbang we never try this on our channel so we're like let's you know get some nigerian food hausa food <laughs> it's called umwake mm -hmm. and yeah just eat and talk about um what's been happening kind of in our lives or just in general you know stuff that we've been going through so yeah mm -hmm. first let's talk about kind of you know what <laughs> what we're guess, eating yeah okay yeah so i actually made this umwake um, and it's actually made with uh, a mixture of beans. So the beans are pretty much not blended, but kind of like grinded into these like fine, like powdery form. Then um, kuka is also added to it. Um, kuka is what is kuka in is English? It? Moringa is that? No, no, that's that's not. Not. Right? Moringa is, no, kuka is yeah. moringa. Okay, it's, so it's a grain powder, and so you mix them together. Yeah. Then you also put potash, which is kamwa. We searched it up. Well, I saw it, like, mama wrote it on the... Yeah. So, anyway, you, you, so, anyway, these two fine, um powders are put together and then you add the water Ladies. and then you create it whatever I have a whole video that I've been taking of how I made it so may might post that somewhere else link in bio Ooh, <laughs> wait what does that mean mm -hmm. somewhere else tea. not on simply Hausa. that's the tea what's mm -hmm. what's what's been happening mm -hmm. so there I decided this been never my room ever after oh my god <laughs> mm -mm. But I decided to get my own channel, and it's not like we're not beeping, obviously, or but we're sisters, <laughs> and we have issues sometimes. But we don't really ever like fight, fight. Uh, but basically, I got my own channel because we kind of have different views on what direction we wanted the channel to go to and Jamila started it so I was like you know what I think I'm gonna get my own channel just because I also want to you know practice the craft practice you know taking videos and doing more vlog like stuff and actually you know documentary style type of stuff like mm -hmm. talking to people mm -hmm. so I was like all right let me just create it but obviously we still have Simply Hausa and you know we're both gonna be working on that yeah. so <laughs> Um, yeah. I think our styles are very different. I like to do more creative, like, you know, what makes people laugh. Mm. Or kind of like movies, you know. I did a skit with a bunch of people that we met here. Mm -hmm. And I'm kind of more, yeah, like the creative, oh, let's do pranks. Mm -hmm. We haven't done pranks. <laughs> but let's do, like, you know, challenges. Um yeah that's kind of my right um and honestly dude that video was so cool <laughs> i didn't help her at all with any of it like she orchestrated the whole thing she wrote it in like one day like no literally i had like the thought in my head i'm like oh my god there's all these house of people like we need to do something mm -hmm. i was like the first time when we did it this is like our second time doing it the first time i was like oh my god there's so many house of people like, it would be really nice to make, like, a movie and, like, literally put them, you know, on YouTube. So, mm -hmm. I was like, oh, I just thought of an idea. I'm like, oh, my God, maybe we should do, like, the first time. The first video, what was it about? I don't know. <laughs> but it was, just, it was just literally, like, 
I was like, oh my god, uh, we're gonna improvise everything because I didn't want to really write a script. Cause I feel like if I wrote a script, everybody would have to memorize the lines and then it would have to be a certain way. So I was like, you know what, we're gonna improvise because I feel like when you when you talk in Hausa, it's kind of easy. I feel like it's easier to improvise, to be mm -hmm. honest. Because, like, you can make it super dramatic. Like, the Hausa language, I feel like, is a super dramatic language. So, like, when you're saying something, you can, you know, dramatize it. <laughs> yeah. But you can you can make it super dramatic. So, right. um, let me just talk about the second time. Because I think the first time, we wasn't really that structured. The second time was more structured where everybody was super excited to do it again. And they're like, oh, my God, you know, you know what do you have up, up in store for us? It was kind of like... Everybody was ready for it. Um, so I thought of the idea. I'm like, okay, since we're improvising, I'm going to use everybody's skills. Skill set. Mm. And be like, okay, I think you'd be good at, you know, so-and-so. Mm. <laughs> A character that I made. I'm literally based on similar personality. Oh. Like, literally. I actually what, didn't realize that, you know. Yeah, because I'm like, what would you feel comfortable mm -hmm. actually portraying to be honest mm -hmm. um so that's kind of how i went about it mm -hmm. i was like okay talking because we had done it with boys this time last time we didn't we didn't have boys so we kind of played the, <laughs> the boys um yeah so i would like kind of see their personality be like okay i think you would be good at or i, I would ask them I'd be like, okay, so we had a millionaire, right? And I'd be like, hmm, <laughs> who wants to be the millionaire? Who wants to act like, you know, he's the boss around here? So they kind of... Is it really Hold up. Is it really up? Woo! Dang! Where's my coat? Okay. I'm Moyaji. I'm not done. Even though it's spicy. I'm Moyaji, that's why I'm not like... You didn't get like her, she's just like devouring. Mm -hmm. I think like, if you put Moyaji, it's like... Yeah, Jesus, amazing spice from Nigeria. And by the way, the also the garden Nwaki came from Nigeria. Mm. We don't really make it here. I finished my dog out. Oh, my God. That's going to hurt your... It's going to hurt. Because really? of the fizz, so you're going to feel it more. So yeah, Jack. Wow. <laughs> iron brings like a... Like one of those streets. <sighs> yeah, as I was saying, um, so I, so yeah, I kind of use everybody's strengths, and I was like, oh my god, this would look cool, and I wanted to make it a mystery, because I'm like, let's do a who done it kind of mystery thing, where people will will try to figure out, um, you know, who done it, and I feel like right. who done it, you can use many characters, mm -hmm. you can make up on the spot, literally. I felt like it was kind of like clue. You know what I mean? Oh, I kind of, I kind of thought of clue when I was do, when I was doing it. Mm -hmm. It was like okay, so I was like, oh, I, <laughs> the one thing that I wanted was a millionaire. I don't know, there was some something about having a millionaire in there and acting really cocky. I was like, we need to have somebody like that. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, on. I did not. I just told them this is what I want this scene to be like. I want it. You guys are friends. And you guys are talking about money. Yeah. I want you to be the nice person, you to be the mean person. Go. <laughs> I honestly think, like, actually with directors, I think people that do choose people that can actually work with those character type, like, it's actually a good strategy to have. Look at my channel for that. <laughs> yeah, she... Yeah. What's my channel's name again? Right, you are Amina. Mina. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> She's very, very knowledgeable about those things. Yeah. So yeah, hopefully <clears throat> one day I get to create my own documentaries. You know, people, their, their stories. <laughs> That's my goal. But girl, apart from your art stuff, what's been going on in your life? Well, sis, let me tell you, I've been kind of growing as a person. And realizing like okay I'm growing up so like little petty things that happen in my life I don't need to spend so much time like trying to figure those things out well like I can look at the bigger picture mm -hmm. and be like okay why am I actually here in life you know we're here for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so like if I can use my platform <clears throat> to kind of reach people 
a positive way like that should be my main goal I shouldn't have to you know focus on what people assume <laughs> about me or like mm -hmm. what people think about me I shouldn't focus on that right that's kind of yeah my new take on life okay. so you need to like slowly and mentally kind of go away from things breathe <laughs> how about you though what's you know um let me see i've been focusing a lot on work um and just growing through my work and mm -hmm. really seeing um the kind of impact that i want to make mm -hmm. um because what was it when i was at this event one of the girls said and i'm like kind of paraphrasing it but it was like realizing that you're capable of doing a lot of different things but knowing how to like like okay because everybody tells you you need to find what you need to do in life right mm -hmm. but right. sometimes there's people that are like multi you know i can do this i can do that i can mm -hmm. do this so it's okay to be like i love a lot of different things and i want to mm -hmm. learn all these different things and you know so that's kind of what i am but i think also organizing which project i want to do first kind of right so and being able to kind of finish Mm -hmm. you know, project yeah. 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 How's that noahi? Well, it's so good. Add extra spice. Mm -hmm. yeah. Add the extra spice. So, yeah. What do y'all want to see next? Let us know. We were going to be in the snow. Yeah, it's snowing. Oh. A lot. But the thing is, you know, we will talk about like, global warming. Climate change. Okay. Politically correct climate change because uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> technically it's not just warming it's just like right right yeah, yeah. i feel like i'm kind of bad at communicating yeah things exactly. yeah dude i was like okay look <laughs> we don't even gotta talk about it on camera but i'm gonna explain to you while you're like, you're texting actually you know if you go like this for a really long time you'll just fall backwards like if you stop like wait, keep doing it like go over like that's me. Bruh, like yeah. if you fall. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Try it. I'm not doing it. I thank you so much for making um Yeah. yeah. Okay. I know. I like it. Okay. Next we're gonna make something else. I don't know yet. Comment down below. Comment down below uh, what you guys want to see next. House oh, what, food. yeah, house of food. Mm -hmm. And uh, if you want us to talk and help some more, Brian. I know I've always said this. I want my kids to know Hausa, <laughs> but I'm not speaking Hausa in the house. Mm -hmm. I want my kids know Hausa, anyways. Yeah. yeah. So thank you so much for watching. Uh, we appreciate you know all the support that we're getting, um, and yeah, share the love. You know, keep being consistent and turn on the notifications. Okay, go follow Rai Ramina. I'll put it right here for you guys. Go follow. Hello. Go follow the description box. Yeah, thank you so much. Bye. Peace. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>